everyone, it's me, Fashion Tamer, the Tame One, bringing you guys another wonderful wig review. And this wig that I have flowing down my body is the infamous Shake and Go Mermaid Lock Unit. And this wig is very, very islandy. Like, I definitely feel like I need to be on somebody's beach, some form of sand, sandbox. I don't know. But I just know I need to be where some saying is. So, anywho, let's get into this review. If I can find the stock card. Let me go get that stock card. Okay. Found it. So, like I said, this is the Shake and Go Freetress Equal. This is their mermaid lock unit. This is also, it is not a lace wig. This is actually a, just a regular full cap unit, which, um, believe it or not, I do kind of wish they made it into a lace wig because it has very, it had very, very good potential to actually give you something a little bit more believable than, you know, this up here. But Nevertheless, there are ways to making this work by leaving out baby hair or just a little bit of your own hair to make it seem like, you know, the, your hair is grown out from the actual uh, from the actual style itself. But this is their premium mermaid lock hand tied lace part. Uh, it is a braided unit. So, yes, this is so breathable. The cap is super stupid. I was trying to say stupid and super. So stupid. It's stupid stretchy. <laughs> And it is long, like there is, a, baby, when I say length, there is some length. Like, I feel like a whole islandy mermaid right now. Uh, and I got mine in uh, color 1B. It only comes in 1 and 1B. Those are the only colors that they made, which it is kind of upsetting because there are some people that don't have just 1 or 1B type of hair. But I guess for this particular unit, they wanted to see how well it was going to do. So they end up just making it in 1 and 1B. Now. Let's get into the cap construction because I'm going to tell you right now, I already love this wig. There's nothing wrong with this unit. Uh, believe it or not, this is actually a recreate video from my Fashion Tamer 69 channel. Uh, I did review this wig on there, but this is a brand new channel and it's about to be spring and it's about to be summertime. So I felt like giving y'all a unit that I know could still be utilized in this year. So we are bringing back the locks mermaid locks to be exact so yes uh the combs on this wig i believe if i remember correctly because i don't have all the combs in but i believe that there are one two i believe if i remember i swear i think it's like four It's about four or five, four, four, it's about four, four combs in it. So you get two in the front and two in the back along with the adjustable strap. This cap is super stretchy, so we don't even have to do a drum roll. I'm just going to bluntly come out and tell you guys, this wig is exceptionally big head friendly. So this wig will literally work with any dome out there. Uh, it's so lightweight, like even though like you're looking at all this hair, and you're looking at how long it is and it looks like it's heavy or anything like that and it's not it's really not heavy at all this is probably so lightweight it reminds me of 301 the um hand tied unit by Freetress. that and this unit are literally the same cap construction the only difference is that has six comb this one only has four but it's so freaking lightweight like I know I could be outside and, and, and it's okay. I don't have to worry about burning up in the in the heat out there. Also, I added a few little details to mine. I wanted to make mine a little bit more personal to where it's, you know, my own personal personal touch. So I did get the little, little you know, the little uh, braid braid thingies. The braid jewelry. I couldn't think of what those call. I did get the braid jewelry. And just stuck them in there because these are feel like real locks. So I'm getting up close so you guys can see it really good. But you got some loose hair and then you actually have the locks themselves with, you know, the cute little ends and everything. And like I said, I didn't put them all over. I just really mostly did it on one part of my face just to get an idea of, you know, how to style this unit. So those are like cute little touches that you can always do to, you know, customize your wig to make it you, to make it 
you know, your own personal style. So yes, I hope this video was informative and to you guys liking, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell at the top to be notified when I, Fashion Tamer the Tame One, drops another video. And until we meet again, my beautiful and one fabulous Tame Raiders. Bye.